That's a, that's what the story is that you hear on the news that medical malpractice is out of control. And the point in fact, if you go to, and there's statistics on this, if you go to every circuit court in this state, I can't tell you about other states, there are very few um, malpractice actions ever filed. Very few. And the ones that are filed are pretty grievous cases, you know. Taking that, off the wrong leg, for example. Things like that. Well, and generally people, when they have a claim, they knew somebody hit them, you know, or somebody has caused them injury. But they're going to have another battle on the jury because the jury thinks there's too many lawsuits. So that's why, you know, if, if they get injured, they better document it very well. You know, they better call, if it's a car accident, they better always call a police officer, make a report, you know, and have yourself checked out by a competent professional. I had a case in which a lady uh, got rear-ended real significantly, went to the hospital, and they gave her some pain medication. Nine months later, she ended up having a cervical discotomy fusion in her C5, C6, where they cut open her neck, go in and place metal brackets on her spinal cord. You know, and now the insurance company is saying, well, why didn't you get that right from the get-go? Well, she thought she had a sore neck at the time and they gave her pain medication, you know, and it would go away. She, uh, this lady, in fact, settled her PIP claim with her auto carrier for $17,000. She thought that was all that she would need. Now it turns out the surgery on her neck ran about 62000 and she may need equivalent to about another $200,000 of surgery. It's a good thing that she had insurance through her husband or she'd be out of luck. But the insurance company uh, settled her lifetime benefit medical from this accident for seventeen five. They're capable of doing it, take pictures of the vehicles, you know. That's really important because sometimes police officers don't even call a photographer to the scene, nor do they take pictures. People that are injured in an auto accident though don't have their wits about them to do something like that. You're just so sh uh, shook up that you don't think to do that, you know. You like to think that the police are doing their job. But one thing you can remember is, you know, go to the hospital and try to take pictures, you know, no matter how small of an event it is. Do that because a good attorney that is, so that, you know, they can protect their rights and get things going. Sometimes claim people from insurance companies will call them up and settle a policy for $10,000 or whatever it is when they're entitled to several hundred thousands just to try to take care of it. A lot of people that are real hard workers and they want to get right back to work because, you know, that's their job and employer and they'll try to go back to work and they're, they're called the working wounded. And then just by going back to work, the insurance companies will say, well, if you can go back to work, you don't deserve any compensation. So now you've got to, you know, have some detailed medical records that say, you know, this person is complaining of this pain, this pain, and it's on this medication, and, and still insist upon working, you know, through the pain.